my MacBook. And then I have music. I just want to put a lot of music on my laptop and which symbolizes ballet and dance. And then I have Google Chrome because I want to create closer friendships this year. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe, and today I'm gonna be doing a what is on my MacBook. I did one on my old laptop. I recently just organized it and prepped it for 2021, so I'm just gonna get started. So this is what my home screen looks like. It is very minimalist and aesthetic. I actually got this template off of Canva and they have like free templates and stuff. And I just added my own photos and deleted their photos. So this is basically my 2021 mood board. I just have these photos of these two girls, which symbolizes friendship because I want to create closer friendships this year. This next one here is people throwing graduation caps because I'm graduating from high school this year. Down here, it's kind of covered by my taskbar, but it says encourage yourself just like multiple times in different colors. Down here is a little ballerina which symbolizes ballet and dance because this year I'm actually doing my ballet exam So if you can hear my brother in the background next is this little tattoo because I want to get a tattoo this year And then the last photo is just this beach wave thing. Yeah, I just thought it was cute to add my lock screen background is the same as this so next i have these three little folders i got these icons off of julia k chris website you can go check that out if you want i can leave it linked down below for you guys the folders that i have is just home 2020 and 2021 so home so here's just all the stuff that i use for my home first of all i have youtube so currently the only video that i'm working on at the moment is my braces update so usually yeah when i'm working on videos when i haven't finished editing them they're usually up in this top row and then i have music which i only have have three. I just don't want to put a lot of music on my laptop and I'll keep using these until I don't like them anymore and then I'll change it out. Next is screens. So these are all the screens that I have in my YouTube videos. I don't want to recreate every single time because it takes a lot of time because in iMovie the text that it comes with is so bad and I have to create these on Keynote. I don't want to keep creating and keep exporting them if I can just have them all the time and just easily drag them in. And then here with YouTube video slides that's the actual Keynote document. I can just go in there and change the text and stuff to what I want for each video. And then I also have my end slide, which I also created on Keynote. I just want it to be very plain, simple. And my 2020 intro I made on iMovie. I actually got the template off of YouTube and then I just added my own text into it. In finished videos, these are all the videos that I've currently finished and are waiting for me to upload because I like to get my videos all ready so that I am not stressing out, especially during school time. So in this folder at the moment, I have school supplies, whole COVID vlog, motion tour, and plan for school. Next is my 2021 channel. A lot. I just like to keep it in case something happens and I don't want to remake it. And then I have my YouTube planner, which I don't really use anymore, but I'm just keeping there just in case I want to go back to it and I don't have to recreate the whole document again. So that is all for YouTube. Now into customization, it just has my old wallpaper in case I get sick of this one and want to change it back. So I actually love this one. I like the little drawings on there. And then next I have my cover letter, my resume, and my video resume script for when I'm applying for jobs. Currently, I'm not applying for jobs because life is going to get way too hectic. And then the last Last thing in here is my budget for 2021. I'm still working on that. So next is 2020, which is my 2020 school folders. So I got this laptop in like November of 2020. So these are all the subjects that I use this computer for. So for maths, I just had my PSMT, which is my problem solving, mathematical modeling, something. And then I have set three, which I had to do like a competency with this laptop. I have 11 dance, which I just keep there because I love having the choreographic devices. And then also for the projects, I like keeping them so that it helps me like for the next year and then for english i briefly use my laptop for english so i just put those in there i like to keep that for templates and then here is my opinionated editorial i struggled so much with that so that's all for 2020 there's not much in there and then for 2021 if you haven't watched my plan with me for school i made these in that video so these are all the subjects that i'm taking so there's dance english design maths media art set three and personal development so basically in here there's all just like a microsoft word document with notes in it and then also has like these resources and then most of them are also blank as well so that is all for that so now i'm gonna go into launchpad and if you haven't seen my customizing my laptop, this is how I organized it. So I like having everything in folders. So with the titles for my folders, I like to have like one word explaining the folder. And I like having one space in between. But the first folder that I have is productivity. So I just have calendar, which is obviously just the standard calendar. I don't really use it that much because I have Notion. Next, I have reminders, which I barely ever use. Clearly, I haven't used it since I updated my laptop. But yeah, you can just create 
things to do, which I think is actually really handy. Then I have notes, which I've actually been using a lot. So currently I have formal expenses, usernames, which is what my mum needs to pay me back because sometimes I use my card when I'm out to get her things that she needs. Case to buy code because in case I want to buy something off Case to buy, I can get 20% off. So I just keep any codes that YouTubers that I watch have. And then I have my Pandora ring size. Which, and then I have moving, so moving expenses. And then I have work and then YouTube, which is my analytics. I can actually change that to 320 currently. I'm so surprised at how many subs I've gained in January when I'm filming this. So I'm filming this on the 19th of January and I'm on 320. My goal for the entire year was 300 and we have exceeded that in January. So I'm like, thank you guys so, so much. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. Next, I have mail, which is just my Gmail. Then I have calculator, just the standard calculator. And then I have stickies, which I'm not going to go into because it has some personal information in there. Next, I have system preferences, which is literally just settings for your MacBook. Nothing too interesting about that. And then I have Google Chrome, which I actually am trying not to use anymore because with the Safari, with the new update, it actually tells you if there's people trying to track you and like and stops it. And then with Google Chrome, I don't know if that has the same system or not. At the moment, I only use it for Netflix. Next is Safari. I've created these bookmarks. Now, moving on to my doc. These are just the main apps that I use. So I have Finder, which you can't delete. Next is Launchpad, which you can actually move around. It's pretty cool. So I have this in like rainbow order. So I have PowerPoint, Stickies, Microsoft Excel, Word, App Store, Mail, Safari, OneNote, iMovie, and System Preferences. And then I have the bin, which I need to empty. So this is just my screen recording, OneDrive, some emoji thing, AirDrop, screen mirroring, my battery, my Wi-Fi, this spotlight shirt my control center which i think is pretty cute i'm not gonna open that because it has my wi-fi on there and then i have the date and time and again i can't open my widgets because i have my location on that is all for that now i want to quickly show you guys the bookmarks that i've saved on safari <laughs> So for school, I have my school email and style. So my school email is Outlook and style is just this learning app thing that you can use. I use it for English. You can also use it for science and basically whatever you teach wants to use it for. I don't really like it. Then in my home folder, so I have my personal email, Pinterest, which is Chloe Hartley. Notion, which is what I use to organize myself. So if you want to go watch my Notion tour, then go watch it. It's on my channel. YouTube, which obviously you're on right now. Canva, which is what I use to make my collages and wallpapers and stuff. I don't use it to make thumbnails. I prefer Fonto and PixArt on my phone. I have Indeed, which is for job searching. Real Estate, which is to search for houses. Vodafone, Optus, they're just phone plan people. Um, red Coat Tablets, which are the dissolving tablets for my braces. They turn my mouth pink and show a placa. I need more and that's a website that I can get more off. And then I have NAB and that is my whole MacBook. That is all for what is on my laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what videos you're going to see from me in the near future. And also, if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe either in the corner or under the video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night, evening or morning, whatever time you're watching this. Stay safe and I hope you see you in the next one. Bye guys.